Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very special welcome to our morning call today. Um, it's my pleasure. Uh, my name is Ben Woodward. It's my pleasure to be your host today. Uh, this call is designed to be a part of your business building activities. We have people joining us uh, from all around the United States, um, and we have people joining as individuals, and we also have people joining us. One second. Um, Bob Satterwhite, if you could mute your line, please, that would be wonderful. Um, here we go. Um, it's not muting. You'll need to mute. There we go. Um, we also have teams of people gathered together in people's homes, uh, participating together as groups, uh, looking at this business uh, for the first time. Uh, so a very special welcome to you. This call is designed with you in mind. Uh, we have the good fortune of having three wonderfully tenured, very well experienced business professionals in NECAN. Uh, that are here to share some of their experience and some of their insights. So I want to start off by introducing our first speaker. Our first speaker uh, hails all the way from Canada. Uh, it's Bo Tanis. Bo has been with Nikan uh, for over 25 years, I would say, Bo. Is that correct? Um, 28. 28 years. 28 but who's years. But who's <laughs> counting? Um, prior to joining Nikan, he was a professional musician, a realtor, uh, a business owner, an entrepreneur, uh, a retail store owner, and a host of other things. He's had some incredible experiences um, in business and in life that has taken him all over the world. His time in Nikan has been remarkable as well. In these 28 years that he's been with Nikan, he's been instrumental in launching the Canadian market and getting involved in Mexico and launching Mexico, which is one of our most thriving markets in the world to date. Um, and is just doing a tremendous amount of good and has business all over the world. Uh, he is very loved, very well respected, uh, and it's our great pleasure to have Bo uh, join us today and to share some insights with each of you uh, on his experience. I want to ask Bo, uh, I want to ask you three questions, if that's all right, in the time that you've got. Uh, what was it that attracted you to Nikan? Um, now that you've been in for all of this time, uh, what, what does Nikan mean to you now? Uh, and as a consequence of that, knowing what you know now, what would you do differently if you were starting afresh? Because we have people in the audience today that are listening to Nikan, considering, do I get started? What do I do? How would I get going? What would be your advice to them as well? Sure. Good morning, everyone. And uh, it's a pleasure to be on the call. Thanks for inviting us. Um, why I joined Nikan? I was looking for something. I had uh, at one point two very successful video stores. I sold them, opened up a restaurant and lost everything and lost more than everything. So I was really in a financial hole. I, I needed to make a change. Now at this point, I didn't have any cash to start a new business with. So I uh, became a realtor and experienced the tremendous power of bad timing. The market was crashing just as I got my license. So it was a struggling couple of years in real estate, but I met uh, a gentleman who became a client of mine and he introduced me to Nikan, Bruce Black. Michael DiMuccio had sponsored Bruce, Bruce sponsored me into Nikan. And number one, I was interested that someone uh, very successful, retired multimillionaire was actively doing Nikan. And it was because of the products. The products had such a big impact on him and other people that it made me very curious. I came to a meeting. It was a little basement apartment uh, in, uh, in, in uh, someone's home in Toronto. Mike DiMuccio was doing the meeting. And I saw and heard enough that it made me curious. I thought if these products are half as good as people say they are, there's gotta be something significant here. So I did uh, sign up, I became a consultant. However, I didn't have any money so I, Asked my sponsor, Bruce, have you got a hundred bucks I can borrow for until payday? Um, and I got started, got some products and started using them, walking on them, sitting on them, sleeping on them. And over the years, they can enhance the product line. So it was because the products produce such, I'd say at times monumental results with people. You know, we make no medical claims whatsoever, but when people, sleep better, uh, they're better hydrated, they're better nourished, breathing better. The body takes care of itself more effectively and the uh, natural earth energy that's in a lot of the Nikan products 
also really assist in that. And uh, every week we would have a meeting and people would report tremendous benefits. So that, that really got me enthusiastic and uh, maybe want to share NECAM with more and more people. I had known about network marketing before, although I didn't have any success. I knew that the bigger your network of people, the more people you can help. And the more people that you're helping with your network, the more products are used and consumed and sold and shared with people. And uh, the bigger the network, the bigger the check. You know, it's a simple mathematical thing. Like if you have 10 people in your network and theoretically they get 10 people, that's 100 and they get uh, 10 people, that's 1,000. Uh, and it's all about assisting the people in your network to be as successful as they can. Teach them whatever you know. Uh, nobody knows everything, but you try to help them to share the products and the opportunity with other people. I, I think the reason I kept going is number one, it was very successful. When you have products that create such passion, uh, such a passionate result, and their testimonies often are just at times mind blowing, really, that it's just so encouraging. And to know that every dollar you earn, someone is doing better physically. The other aspect is the financial. Uh, I'm not shy to say I got involved because I needed to make money. I wanted to make money. And money's not a dirty word. It allows people to move from a bad neighborhood to a good neighborhood, to drive a safer car, to send their child to a good school. All these things, uh, I was able to help other people to achieve in their life. And quite a few of them have done extraordinarily well in different countries. So it's been a, a wonderful life experience and a wonderful business experience and the many wonderful people we've met and gotten to know over the years. And I would say finally, as a, a final comment, what would I do differently? I followed the advice of some of the top Nikan leaders when I started, because I was very curious, how did they make such great income? How do they have such a big social impact? And they said uh, a magic word, AOMA, an acronym for All Out Massive Action. And that really helped me a lot because I was being too precious with the people I was talking to by talking to just a few. And they weren't interested, by the way. Some were, some weren't. But by sharing Nikan with many people, some of them were extraordinarily interested and some of them made big waves in the business they talked to and sponsored many people. So I would say I would do the same thing and only more of it. And I would encourage anyone getting started, first discover Nikan, the products and the power of the opportunity, and then decide what you want. If you want a little part-time business, wonderful, you can do that. If you'd like to make an executive income or more, that's there too. And if you want to do that, I would suggest to create all out massive action for a period of two, three, four months, like I did. I contacted over 100 people. They weren't all interested, but over 30 were. And that changed my life because by helping them get started and helping them do what I did, it grew into a, a large number of people. So thank you for that. Please join us. And uh, it's a wonderful mission. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Bo. And uh, Niken is certainly what it is today as a consequence of you being involved. So we're really grateful that you've played such a significant part and, uh, and lived exactly what you've done there. And, and uh, not filtering, just like you said, all out massive action, go out there and talk to as many people as possible. Uh, there's another gentleman that I'm gonna introduce now who uh, has also had a significant impact for good on NECAN and has a wonderfully different background. This is one of the things that I love about NECAN. As you listen to our call today, all three speakers have wonderfully different histories. Um, and it shows us here something of diversity in experience and value and contribution. Uh, our next speaker is Dr. Gary Lindner. Uh, Dr. Lindner uh, received a, a PhD in physiology and has had numerous faculty positions at some major universities across the United States. In addition to being a very experienced and professional academic, he's also been a wonderfully successful businessman and has over 30 years of experience with businesses ranging from startup ventures uh, all the way through to multi-million dollar multinational biotech companies. Um, and as a consequence of that, all of that experience, 
he brings with 22 years of additional experience with Nikan, which has seen him become a published um, uh, a writer um, and, of course, a, a sought-after speaker um, on podcasts, on videos, you name it. And here he is with us today on this webinar. So thank you very much, Dr. Gary, for being with us. Again, I'm going to put to you the same questions. Uh, what, what attracted you to Nikan? What caught your eye? And after 22 years of being around with us now, uh, what does it mean to you today? And if you had your time over again, putting yourself into the shoes of the new person listening, what would you do differently? Well, thank you, Ben. Thanks for inviting me on the call this morning. Um, remind me of the questions as we go. I have a, <laughs> a tendency to get off on little tangents. So what attracted me to Nikan? I think it's the same thing that's allowed Nikan to be in business and around for 45 years, and that is the products. Uh, as a physiologist, I was quite intrigued. And my story with Nikan is, and I'll take a little time to share it just so you understand, is a little different. I didn't have a friend introduce me to this or an associate or a friend of a friend, kind of like Bo was talking about. Um, I was traveling in China and a physical therapist in China uh, told me about this great Japanese company that could help me with some products for a neck injury I had. And, uh, as we were chatting, he was telling me that it used the Earth's natural energy, magnetics, and I looked at him like he was from another planet. I mean, I really did, because I'd never heard of that. Um, I came home from that trip. A week later, open up my weekly paper. I live in a small town, and here's an a, uh, article in the middle, of the, next to the sports section of the paper, about a Japanese company helping with people with natural energy products, magnetics all over the world. I went, wow, that's weird. 24 hours later, I'm being introduced to this. A week later, I'm walking through a hotel room in Eugene, Oregon. I traveled a lot, you might surmise at that point. And a gentleman walks up behind me, taps me on the shoulder and says, I can see you have a neck injury by the way you're walking. We're having a meeting here tonight for a company called Knee Kin. They have some products that might help you. So there's three times in the space of like a week and a half that this company came to my attention. And it's pretty much knocking me upside the head saying, you don't know everything there is to know. Maybe there's something here that you ought to investigate. So that's exactly what I did. I started to investigate the, the products, uh, do some research on them. Again, as a research scientist, that's kind of what you're taught to do. Uh, eventually purchase some products at retail, uh, use them, love the results, my next question was to the person that I purchased them from was I found him. He didn't find me. I actually, you know, sought him out and purchased some products from him and, uh, and they worked. Uh, they helped the neck problem I was having. And I asked him one question. I said, how do these products really work? And he goes, really good. And I said, okay, well, you know, that's, that's not the answer I was looking for. So again, more research. I got involved, got a distributorship because the products worked. They worked for me. I knew many people, uh, friends, family that needed these products. That's why I got involved initially. This is about the time, and I'm in my mid 40s at this time, that I think we all come to a realization that maybe there's something else, right? I mean, I had a successful company. We traveled a lot. We uh, had offices in five different countries, uh, three domestically here in North America, uh, providing service to uh, in the animal breeding, animal uh, 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 artificial, uh, you know, reproductive technologies, basically, is what we did. Um, and it involved a lot of travel. And I remember sitting in our office one day with me and my partner both looking at each other and I can't remember who said it first, but somebody said, what are we doing? And we're looking at each other going, wow, we're never home. We travel. We love what we do, but you know, is there more? And this is just about the same time I'm, I'm looking at Nikan as a business. And then we started to discuss that and reset some other business ideas he'd like to do. So, over a period of time, we kind of transitioned. Uh, like you said, I've been involved with Nikan for 22 years now. Uh, it's been 
awesome. It also allows, and I'm kind of speaking out to anybody there uh, that's listening for the first time or, or making a decision about Nikan. If you want to be a service, if you want to make a difference in people's lives, you're at the right place. If you want to, and, and I have many people in my organization, there's teachers. It's a great place for teachers too, for people that want to provide information so people can make healthier choices. And that's, that's exactly what we do. And that's what I'm excited about now is we have the forum, we have the tools, we have the product line, we have the wellness home. We have a huge problem globally, it's chronic disease. There are some simple solutions. The solution is not treatment of preventable disease, it's preventing them to begin with. And the wellness home is the answer to do that. I, I'm, and I'm saying that from a physiologist standpoint. Um, other questions, Ben? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, really good. So, so getting to this point now, as you look back, what would you do differently now, Gary, if you had your time over again? You know, I, it's a tough question for me, given my background as, as a physiologist, because you're, you're taught to study. Uh, but I don't think I'd study for so long. <laughs> I think I'd take uh, the stories, the, the, uh, you know, the product stories I heard from people more at face value than at from a uh, skeptical viewpoint, um, because my eyes have been open uh, to a lot of things, really. Um, and I'm not saying skepticism is a bad thing. Skepticism is very simply just you have questions. Yeah. But I had lots and lots of questions. I'm not sure I'd have so many and study so much before. And I also would use the, use tools more. And by that, I mean really using the people in the field, uh, like using this Zoom call. Yeah. I mean, I love doing Zooms. Um, and I might mention, if you don't mind, that starting, yes. starting this Tuesday, uh, Heather, my partner, and I, uh, Heather Abbott and I, are going to be doing a Healthy by Choice Zoom call at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on this same channel, this, you know, the same, same channel here. Uh, and it's focused really on uh, problem solutions, how the wellness home, how our product and technologies do that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be followed by a live Q and A after that. So I invite everybody to tune in. I also invite everybody to bring guests and bring people that, that uh, need our help. And that, that would include, anyone. <laughs> I mean, because we leave our health to chance, chances aren't very good. We're going to be healthy. <laughs> yeah. No, wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Linder. And you know, just to recap here, uh, you've referenced an interesting challenge that you would do different, respond to differently, but also provided a solution for everyone else that might be in the same boat as well. Because one thing that, that Dr. Linder said here, which I think was really interesting was skepticism isn't a bad thing. Yeah. But at the same time, we don't want to spend too much time asking unnecessary questions. We want to ask the right questions. But Niken also is celebrating this year 45 years of being in business. Uh, so it's not so much a matter of does Niken work? The question is, can I make it work? Yeah, because yeah. we've got 45 years of history saying that it works. But what, what I love as well is there has been a bit of a theme come through in today's call where one of the key instigators of interest was the value and efficacy of our products. Yeah, so here we have, if, you, if there is anyone on the call that is thinking, maybe I am a little skeptical, what do I do about this? Uh, well, here we have a doctor of physiology with 22 years of experience that's gonna be hosting a weekly call that will work around the subject of the products, the body, the needs, the problems, the solutions, uh, and will give you a chance for questions and answers. What a great resource that is for anybody. Uh, to really get involved, get their questions answered, and move forward with confidence. So thank you very much, Dr. Lindner. Thank um, you, Ben. Yeah, thank you. So our, our, our final speaker, um, it's a real privilege to have him on. Uh, his name is Dennis Williams. Uh, Dennis and Ruth uh, joined NECAN 28 years ago. Uh, again, here is another credible, overwhelming example of does this business work? People have made livings, livelihoods out of this for so long. And it's just tremendous that they're doing this. So we've had uh, Bo in for so long as well, uh, Gary in for 22 years, and here we have now Dennis with 28 years of history. Prior to Dennis and Ruth joining, uh, Dennis worked in corporate management. Uh, he worked in car sales as well. Uh, and he also worked in another network marketing company uh, for over 10 years and got a taste for and a feel for uh, what the potential is of this opportunity. 
uh, when Lee Ken came around for Dennis, uh, interestingly, as he shares his experience, he didn't quite catch the vision straight away. Um, but when the penny dropped, he really started to run with it. And interestingly, as a consequence of that, and, and there's, there's a message in that, isn't there? I believe that um, you know, it's, it's when we catch the vision, when something happens here or here, that uh, the opportunity engages with us in a different way, or perhaps we engage with it in a different way and get a different result. When he hadn't quite realized the value of it, not much was going on, but when he got it, when he grasped it, not only did he do wonderfully over the course of these 28 years, he became one of two royal ambassador positions within the Niken field. That's the highest ranking position within the organization that represents significant success. Amongst the thousands of people that he has taught, that he has influenced around the world, I'm really proud to say on his behalf, he has helped 47 people achieve the status of Millionaires Club members in the Niken business. That means they have earned in their lifetime with Niken over a million dollars. Now, we always want to be careful in income claims, but this is something that is really quite matter of fact. This is something that is proven, evident, uh, fact-based. What a wonderful milestone. And as, as Bo said earlier, uh, money isn't a dirty word. This is a business where every commission earned is the fruit of a product sold. And why are people joining the business? Because the products make a real difference. So that indicated there of people, 47 people making over a million dollars with Nikan, and some of them multiple times over, suggests that the product has gone into thousands of homes and made an impact on thousands of people's lives. That is a great legacy. So without further ado, uh, Dennis, I'm gonna ask you the same three questions. What, what pulled you in 28 years ago? And now 28 years on, uh, what does Niken mean to you? And if you had your time over, what would you do different? Over to you, Dennis. Okay, thank you, Ben. <clears throat> yeah, you know, like you said, money isn't everything, but I uh, found out early in life, uh, like Zig Ziglar said, it ranks pretty close to oxygen. You know, when you need it, you need it. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, back in the beginning, you know, my right prior to Niken is when I was in the car business. and. And I was working seven days a week and long hours and, and everything. And, and I didn't have much time to see my family. We had three biological children. And we, um, when our daughter was about 17, we adopted a little baby girl that was three days old out of the hospital as a foster baby. And then we were able to adopt her. So at that time, when we were first approached about Nikan, our girls were three and four years old. And I never had time to see him much. I had to work all the time. And, and it was kind of stressful, a straight commission job. And, you know, and, uh, but I didn't, like you said, I didn't pay attention to any kind for quite a while. But then I, you know, like a lot of people, I got to thinking, you know, have you ever thought is something isn't quite right? You know, and there I was 49 years old and had over almost 30 years of work experience before me. And what I had to show for it, you know, working seven days a week and long hours and not being with my family and all this. So I knew I had to do something different. But it wasn't until my younger sister got a result with the product that I finally you know, got something for her to try, hands it to her kind of, you know, apologetically, actually with the back flex for her back. And she was a nurse and she heard her back and was out of work for 10 weeks and uh, one summer. And, and I got her that just to, because somebody said it might help something. And I gave it to her. And lo and behold, coincidentally, within a couple of days, uh, she was feeling really good. And then the same thing happened to another friend of ours within a couple of days. And, and uh, that's when I really caught the vision. I thought, you know, my gosh, eight out of 10 people in this country have a problem with their back, I'd heard. And here we had something that was non-invasive, uh, no chemicals, you know, apparently it's safe. And, and I felt like we've got something that everybody needs and nobody has and they can't buy it anywhere else. And that got me pretty excited. And then I'd, I'd seen what Dave Johnson had done and some other people, you know, and the, they joined before we did. And I thought that wouldn't happen if these products really didn't do something. So that got us pretty excited. And then the other thing I realized right away is that everybody that knew me or everybody I knew apparently didn't know about this already because if they knew what I just found out, they would have told me. And then another thing I realized is my fear is not that somebody I know will say no to me. My fear is that somebody that I know will say yes to somebody else. So we better get out and tell them first. So we just went out there and, and, and just started telling everybody and and uh, our job is to educate, it's their job to decide. And uh, we weren't trying to convince or close anybody. And 
In fact, a lot of times people ask me, how do you close people? I used to do that in the car business. I was good at it. But in this business, I, say, you know, I try to open them. I try to open their minds to the possibilities. I don't try to close people. And we want people that want to be in the can. I don't want, I could use the same techniques I use in the car business, but then what would I have tomorrow? And they want a piece of paper. I have to close them again to buy something. Close them again to stay in. You know, so we want people that want to be with us. And if they want to be a customer, that's awesome too. Well, that's kind of how we got started. We just really caught the vision all of a sudden. We needed to make a change. And over the years, it's been awesome. And I think one of the greatest things for us has been the relationships we've been able to have with so many new friends and, and family and people and our own family. You know, being able to take a three-month motorhome trip with our daughters when they're 11 and 12 years old and educate them and, and, and be around. That whole trip was a business trip because we were doing presentations as we traveled and, and uh, 21 different states over a three-month period, over 11,000 miles. And, and, you know, and a doctor couldn't do that, leave their office for three months and go traveling and, and, and have all the tax benefits that we had while we were doing it. You know, it's just been incredible. And uh, we've just been so close to our kids ever since we got into Nika, and they've just have grown up with it. So, and all the friends that we made, the thank yous we've heard, the lives we've literally seen change for the better. We just can't imagine anything more enjoyable. In fact, I tell people we have more fun than people should be allowed to have and make a living. But uh, anyway, and what would we do differently? Probably not a lot. We got a lot of different tools today than we had back when we started, of course. So with the Zoom presentations, the videos, the recordings that we have, but it all comes down to basically, you know, asking questions and listening and, and uh, sharing what we have to offer and getting a decision, a decision from people. Um, that, that's, that's what it's all about, you know, and, and we went, and then we, once we had somebody that wanted to have a business, uh, we try to help them get people into their organization because we found that if uh, people have, we try to create situations where people have something to lose because we found out that they will work harder to keep from losing something than they ever will to gain anything. So, but that just helped them and it helped us and, and it's just been great. So not a whole lot different, just a lot of activity and uh, bring those people in and the ones that want to be customers, give them good service, the ones that want to have a business, um, educate them and help them and develop them and, and just build relationships and friends and they'll have a great time building this uh, global wellness community that we're all putting, putting together here. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Dennis. You know, as, as we come to the conclusion of the call today, uh, three things stand out to me that have been really important, uh, that have been stressed and emphasized on today's call. And uh, for anyone that's listening for the first time, if you're watching this live, or if you're watching this as a video recording that's been sent to you, there's three things here that I think are really critical. For anyone that's wanting to choose a business opportunity of their own, they want to have their own business. Three things have stood out to me. One, the product that you're sharing, that you're promoting to the world, uh, in whichever platform you choose, online or offline, it needs to have value and efficacy. It needs to be legitimate, and it needs to offer value and benefit to the end user. Nikon's been around for 45 years, I believe, because of the product range that it's got. And, and you can hear every person that spoke today talked about just how great the products were and critically, how the need for the products is growing over time. If we look at the way the world is evolving today, the relevance of the products is growing. So 45 years on, you've got a product range that has greater benefit and more value and more relatability to your marketplace than ever before. So that's tremendous. What we've also identified is that every commission earned is the result of a product sold. So if we've got great products, then you've got a great business opportunity. But we see that the thing that really makes a difference, one of the critical points, is of course our perception of it and our willingness to respond to the opportunity when it comes our way. And the final thing that stood out was really what Dennis pointed out, that one of the great benefits that's kept him in Nikan is the people, the relationships, the friendships, the sense of family and community that has been a part of his life now and for 28 years, for Gary for 22, uh, for Bo for 28. Th this, this amount of connection with people is what really adds the value. And the great thing is you can be brand new in this business, but you can have teammates and support teams with tenured experience that goes into the decades. So you've got the wealth and expertise and knowledge uh, of so many people that have got experience from years and years of being around here, getting results. 
So to me, what a great reason to get involved. What a great reason to say yes, to be a part of a community where there is love and friendship and loyalty and support, camaraderie, um, and a, a singular focus on helping everyone win. What a great feeling that is. Uh, to have products that really make a difference and to get paid for every, uh, uh, for every product sold throughout your network. Uh, what a great way to make a living. What a great way to make a difference. So thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you again to Bo, to Dr. Gary, and to Dennis for being a part of this, for your contributions again, because what we have here in NECAM uh, is a wonderful reflection of what you've done over these last many decades that you've been a part of it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you're here for the first time, I wonder what Niken will look like 20 years from now as a consequence of what you've done, of the contribution that you make. Uh, I believe it can be significant. Uh, I look forward to celebrating the 65 year anniversary in 20 years time and seeing who walks across the stage or who jumps onto whatever platform of technology we might have then that pops up into our homes and shares with people what a difference the, the Niken has made in their life and in their world. It could be you and uh, you can have some interesting stories to tell. Thank you all very much, and we look forward to uh, speaking to you again soon. Take care, everyone.